Welcome back. I'm assuming you've already watched what is VGS and you're here to see how to set up an inbound route. Now before we get started, there are some useful tools within our VGS dashboard. If you click on code snippets, this is a great way to send requests either using your personal favorite client like Python or Java or Ruby. Um, if you need the certificate to send a request outbound, you'll see that at the bottom here for the sandbox environment. In addition to sending a request, you wanna make sure that it's actually going to a route. So if you go to the logs, you definitely wanna record your payloads. This will actually show you if it's actually redacting or revealing the sensitive information. In addition, the routes, you could manually set this up, whether it's inbound or outbound, uh, but we'll use the wizard and then I'll show you how that sets it up automatically for you. So if we go to the wizard like I just did, start integration, wizard, you can specify the server. As you can see on the right, your, your server that's going to actually accept the payload that's coming from, from a secure web form. So you're either going to be using VGS Collect JS or our SDKs because you want to secure the sensitive data. Obviously, right now we're just setting up the routes so you can just use your echo server just to test it. Like I said before, you could do curl or use one of your favorite clients. Uh, I'm just going to use Postman. I've already set up the content type as JSON. In the body, I'm going to send a payload with account number. And this is the uh, sandbox, or this is my tenant ID that I'm going to send that information to. So when I send it, you'll see an account number. And if you go down and load the requests, click into the latest request. In the body, nothing's being aliased. So I'm going to secure this payload, which is basically the second step of the instructions on the right. I'm going to redact it, creating an alias. Secure the payload. Uh, I could secure more data, but let me bring you to the routes page to see how this looks. So I have my upstream, which is our server, and then I'm specifying a path. It has to be JSON, on request, redact, and alias that account number. It's going to persistently store it, and this is the alias I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So if I go to our routes, going forward, the account number should turn into an alias when I do it through an inbound route. So if I go back to my postman, send it again, it's now an alias. On the next video, I'm going to go through the outbound route, which will reveal this to a third party. So this would be like Stripe, WorldPay, or Checker.